One of the ways that you can share the Power BI contents, um, such as a report, is to send a link to your report users. And this can be done through different ways, publish to web, embed code, or just sharing using the link. Uh, if you want to share that in a way that you want to embed it in an application or something like that, then embed code, secure embed code sharing is the best way to do, uh, which I'm going to talk about in this video. I'm Reza Rad from Radacad, and we are going to talk about sharing Power BI report using secure embed code. Let's check it out. When you have a Power BI report, there are multiple ways to share that Power BI content with others. You can, uh, as an example, you can just click on the share button on, on top of the Power BI report in the website and share it with others. You choose who you are sharing with. You can create an app on top of a workspace, which we call it workspace app or Power BI app to share a combination of Power BI reports and dashboards together, which is the best way of sharing, of course. You can put that workspace, uh, you can put that report in a workspace and share the workspace with others. You can create a publish to web link from that report and share that link with, uh, with others. Publish to web link, however, is not a secure way of sharing, but it gives you also an embed code that you can use it to embed in a website. You can also use Power BI Embedded, which is a way that you have a custom web application and you embed your report inside that custom application. So there are different ways, multiple ways of sharing your Power BI content. And I have created videos about some of these and their pros and cons. I explained about um, publish to web. I explained about simple sharing. I explained about sharing through workspace or through apps or even through this new way of sharing in Microsoft Fabric called org app. Uh, but secure embed is a very specific way of sharing, which can be useful for scenarios that you just want to share the report with someone who has access to just internet. They don't need to install any applications. They don't need anything but just a web browser with access to internet. Of course, they also need to have a Power BI users to be a, a user to be able to see that content. So how this is going to work? This is also a way that you can use to embed that Power BI inside the web application. I'm going to show you both. Uh, first, this works inside the Power BI service. So you need to be inside Power BI service. You need to have your PBI X file, your Power BI report published to the service. Now I have a few reports in here. I'm going to open one of these. Uh, this is just a sample report with a couple of pages of um, report visualization that I want to use this and share it with someone. Of course, we can use the normal share option. Um, sorry, I just closed this. I wanted to open the zooming capability. Here it is. Okay. So you can, of course, use the normal share option. But what I'm going to show you is if you click under the file, under the file, you can see embed report. And under the embed report, here is where you see different options for embed report. One of them is embed in website or portal. This feature, when announced first a few years ago, it was not called this, it was called secure embed. And I have created a blog article that time with the title of how Power BI secure embed actually works. So this is what we used to call secure embed. Now the name is very similar to what you see under publish to web, but there's a big difference between these two. I'm going to show you how this works and I'll talk about their differences. So when I click on this uh, ability embed website or portal, what happens is that it will come up with this UI for me, it asks me that, uh, do I want to enable any of these? This would enable Copilot for anyone who uses this link. This will enable Action Bar. Action Bar being this bar at the top that you can see file, export, share, things like that. Let me first share it without any of these. Uh, 
This gives me two things. One is just a URL, HTTPS link that I can open it in any browser and see that report. The other one is an iframe. This iframe is something I can embed inside a web part or a web page, parts of a web page. I'm going to first use this just normal um, URL. I'll copy that URL and I'll say close. Then I'm going to just open it in another browser tab so that you can see what this looks like. So this would be a direct link to that report, a really simple way of sharing your Power BI content with someone. This link is giving you full interactive Power BI report. As you can see, I have full interactivity here. I can slice and dice items. Everything works like simply just like a normal report. I can move between pages and I can do slicing and dicing. Whatever I want, I cannot edit the report, though this is a read-only link. Now, this might look like Publish to Web because Publish to Web also gives you the same thing. But here is the big difference between these two. If I send the link generated by Publish to Web to anyone, they don't need to log in, they don't need to do anything. They just open that link and they see their report. That link is also, the Publish to Web link is also discoverable in search engines such as Google. Whereas this link, if I send this link to anyone and they open it, now in this browser window, I already logged in with my account. That is why you saw uh, me uh, going and sharing this report at the first, because this is the same account that I have already logged in with. If I go and open an incognito window, a window that I have not logged into Power BI with it, and I paste this link over here, as soon as I open the link, this comes up with a message asking me to log in to Power BI. And that is where this big difference is coming from. Without a Power BI account, I cannot see this report. Even if I do have a Power BI account, but I don't have access to that Power BI report, I would not see it. How would I gain access to this report? Will that report exist in a workspace? I might have access to that workspace. That report itself might be shared in a report. You can actually share the report under manage permissions. So if I go to, um, to find this report, for example, this was that report. If I go to manage permissions, here is the place that you can even directly add access to the people. You can tell who has access to it. Or this might be just shared using any of normal ways of sharing. Like when you share Power BI report with someone, you can enter their email address. Any of these methods that are used to give that person access should be used so that that person who is logging to that link, seeing that report should have access to it. Otherwise, even if they have Power BI account, they will not be able to see it. So it's a secure, it's a fully secure way of sharing it. And that is why it is called secure embed when it was announced first. Not only that, this also supports role level security. For example, if my user only has access to part of this data, they will see only that part of data, not the whole thing. Uh, it's a really good way of sharing. And let me also show you what that enable um, enable action bar does. So if I go ahead and do this this time and copy the URL, this one is again linked to the report, but this time we have an action bar at the top and that action bar can be used depending on, of course, access of the uh, user for me because I'm an edit user, so I can do even things such as subscribe and things like that. But you see this action bar at the top that is now uh, available for me and the report pages are on the left side. So a few things here. One is that the, using this method, uh, using this method, you can actually share it in a secure way, totally different from publish to web. Publish to web is not secure at all. Secure embed is a secure way. Another good thing about this is that you can use the same approach to embed it inside an application. Let's say I have this WordPress. So you see, this is my WordPress uh, website and I have a web page here. I can add whatever I want in here and see what that web page looks like. 
Now, um, I'm going to embed that Power BI report in here. So what I'll do is again, I'll go to embed website or portal. This time I get this URL, which is a URL that you can use. It's an iframe you can use in any um, web part, um, in any websites, web form or anything like that. Then I come here and I say, well, in WordPress, for example, I can add a HTML, custom HTML place, and I'll just paste it here. And that's pretty much it. Now, if I go ahead and publish it, now I'm just seeing if there's a way to preview it before publish, but apparently it's not, so I'll just publish it. Uh, and we'll see what this looks like. So this will embed it inside that. But again, remember that even if it is embedded inside a web page, still the users need to be logged into that web page. For example, when you embed it in SharePoint Online, if that SharePoint Online user is associated with the same Power BI user having access to the same report, they would be able to see it. It works really simple just like that. I'm going to open this web page and in this web page because um, it's added as another layer of security in my website so I have to first time sign in to see this and when I sign it in you see this is Radicat website I'm in at the moment and this is that Power BI report uh, fully secured share but if someone else goes to this web page right now in Radicat website, they will not see this. They will see that sign in button. If they sign in with a user who does not have access to this report, they will not see the report. They will see a message saying that you do not have access to this report. So uh, one of the best things I like about this is that it's a really simple way of embedding inside a web application. Whereas comparing it with Power BI Embedded, it's a totally different thing. Power BI Embedded, you need a web developer, an application developer to go and set up authentication, authorization, all those kind of things, and then embed this inside an application. You need someone who knows the coding part. Here you do that very simply. If I compare it with publish to web, which is not secure, this is a secure way of sharing. Only people who has access, who have access will see it. Even row level security would work. And even comparing it with a normal sharing, I'll just send the link to others and they will go and use it. It's a really good way of sharing a content to get some output from test users, but make sure that they do have access to this report, which follows normal Power BI licensing for sharing. Power BI free would be able to only see it if this is hosted in a workspace with a capacity-based licensing, such as uh, Power BI Premium Capacity, Fabric Capacity. If it is not, then they should have Power BI Pro users or Premium Per User to go and consume this. I have explained all of this information about licensing in another video. You can go and check it out. I hope this video helps you in your solution implementation with Power BI and Microsoft Fabric. We have weekly videos. Uh, on these subjects. I'm Reza Rad from Radicat. If you like this, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channels and until the next video, bye.